Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Buds. Today you join me for another Brick haul, and today it's another vlog style one and actually it's more of an advert for the UK Lego store pop up and play tour. There is a small amount of haul towards the end of it so stay tuned for what we got. Let's have a look at the day. So we heard about the pop up and play tour via our plug that we're part of. You could pre-book tickets for like a half hour time slot. It also said that they accepted walk-ins, so we just headed down there on Saturday to have a look and see what they had. They had four different stations. The first one was to build your own cupcake and then display it on the cupcake wall. So it was mainly aimed at sort of younger children. A bit of a struggle for my three-year-old to use the Lego dots, but she had a good stab at it. Whereas my five-year-old, she already has this cupcake set at home, so she enjoyed building another cupcake and took quite a lot of time making it just right. We did then have to leave the cupcakes on the cupcake wall. It's just about the experience and not about getting the free Lego as you go. The next thing we had to do was count the number of horses and balloons in the like city diorama that they had in front of us. That was quite an easy sticker to earn. Then we had to build either a helicopter or a car to then add to the city parade. As you can see, the city has got a lot of helicopters and cars in it. Again, this wasn't too tricky for my five-year-old, a little harder for my three-year-old, but the helicopter was actually the easier build, so that was quite good for her. It took us a little while to do the car, but they both had fun. And then lastly, they had to uh, make a video video. There was also a little photo opportunity with the video stage and some inflatable instruments and glasses and things, which was good fun. Um, but making the actual video video was as we expected. We're not fans of the, the video app itself. The minifigures and the sets are quite cool, although a little overpriced, so we're looking forward to them being reduced. So essentially the video app was just a lot of hitting of buttons to make a video. We got our sticker from that. So you have to head to the, the local Lego store from the pop-up and play tent and you take your ticket that you've got your stickers on and redeem it for a free gift. So I'll show you what we got. Okay, so this is the pop-up and play tour fun family fun ticket that we got so as you can see there are four different stickers so this is blank to start with we did the four different activities collect the rosettes from each activity and redeem at a local uh, the lego store for a free gift and on the back it does say that you actually only have to do two of the activities to get the free gift and it's a free gift per child we got to keep our tickets so we could sneak back in, I guess, and, and do it again if we really wanted to, but, you know, we're not going to go all the way to Lego store just for a poly bag. So these are the poly bags that my kids chose. We've got the Speedboat 30567, which we've already got, but, you know, it was free. And again, the Lego Friends poly bag 30411, which I also have, but my daughter has enjoyed building this already, as you can tell. There was a third choice, I think the Mario gift with purchase from like that very first weekend that Mario was open. And in fact, whilst we were in the store, both of our kids were um, given one of these. They, they had a lot of these to give away and they essentially put this around their necks, pointed them towards uh, the Lego Mario or the Lego Luigi stand where they showed us the Luigi set but they didn't really because we were at the back and we couldn't see um, and we weren't in entirely interested. But once they showed us that, we allow, because they had these on, they got given a free coin. And this is actually quite exciting. I'm quite pleased with this one. Um, so that's the coin there. I have got a, a shot of the little, it comes in a little paper wallet um, that you have to rip to get it out. Um, my daughter was very excited about having a shiny coin. She doesn't really understand the value of things. My other daughter didn't seem in any, in any way bothered, so I've kept that one sealed, but I have also lost it before this video. So yeah, Super Mario on the back, and actual Mario on the front, and I think it looks really cool. So I don't know if they've been giving those away before, but I was pleased to get that one. Obviously, as it was a trip to the Lego store, we did try not to buy anything because we always try not to buy anything but they had new stuff on the build a minifigure wall which i've shown you already um so we picked up a whole bunch of these heads which ian uses under the sea 
and they had a i think this is a new hairpiece i mean it's obviously the same hairpiece that they've got in the roller coaster and some other sets now um but i've never seen it in blonde so i was quite quite pleased to see that i got three of those just to add some variety in some spotty legs i thought they looked pretty cool and i think um this female head was all right it's got a sort of painted face on the other side and then they also had a new bear costume I'm trying to work out oh they've got a blue head under that I didn't know there was a blue head that's weird i'm gonna guess that's from the blue bear um but the round bear is quite cool so i picked him up as well and he came with a pizza which is printed quite off center actually never mind so that's what we picked up so not the largest of hauls but it was a fun half hour experience in the pop-up tent and my kids enjoyed it so i just wanted to make sure that people in the uk knew that this was happening if you wanted to go to your local lego store um i've already given you the dates so don't forget to check it out if you like brick hauls especially ones with slightly more stuff in then don't forget to check out our brick hall playlist and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update see you later